This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Today we're looking at the ADJ Airstream DMX Bridge. This is a little box that has, it's basically a Wi-Fi hotspot. And what this allows me to do is to use DMX control or DMX programming to control some lighting. So my DMX lighting. And I've been using this with my iPad here and you guys maybe have seen the first video we did with it, but I wanted to show you a couple of things uh, to kind of go through a few things. I've been using this to run my full uh, high school prom light show this year because I wanted to see if it could do it. So first off, we start up here, and what happens is that this will broadcast a, a Wi-Fi hotspot, and then that will talk to my iPad. Right now, it's showing me I'm not connected. Well, why is that? It's because I'm in my, my office here that has my network. So I have to go through, if you have this problem, you'll need to go into your settings. Let me get there, settings, and you're going to have to go to your Wi-Fi, and you can see it's, it's set up to office. And I don't want to go to that one. I want to go to the ADJ Airstream DMX. Now, I've done this on a couple of occasions where the hot spot was not found immediately, and I've had to basically then go and restart the app. So we're going to actually do that. Double-click that, and I'm going to shut off all the apps. So now we'll get back to the Airstream DMX app. Free app. You can get that now. It's telling me I'm connected to the bridge. Now, occasionally, and, and again, this was at one of the shows where I had an issue, and the uh, I ended up shutting the power off, I believe, on the bridge. I unplugged the cord by mistake. So then I ended up having to to restart the app because it wouldn't find it, wouldn't find it, said it would, wouldn't find it. It was just this really chaotic thing. So in my show for prom this year, I had some different lighting and fixtures. I had a jelly dome. I had the Inno, uh, let's see, I've got the Inno Pocket Z4. I have a 5P hex, which is a flood. I've got the XS400. I have an Onyx. I had some uh, UV floods, the uh, uh, 36s. I had some Freak 5s. I had um, a dimmer pack, or it's a DP415, I believe it is. I think it's 415. Basically, it's a four channel dimmer slash relay pack. And then I had a Jellyfish IR that I used at the last show, which does not have a profile, so I just made one. So what you can do with this is that you would you would have your iPad or your iOS device and the app. This was you know, this is going to talk wirelessly to the Airstream DMX bridge. That will then have a DMX out of that, and it can go into your lighting. In the system I was actually using, it came out from this, and it went into a DMX transmitter that transmitted to six different spots around the room. So that was really kind of cool for that show. The other show, we came out of this. We went uh, an XLR DMX wire into the first light, and then we piggybacked and ran all the way through all these different lights that you see on the screen. So in order to, uh, to say if I just wanted to do something with the floods, I can do this. I can go, and I've already picked the light. I can go and do that, and I can hit on the bottom, and I can get the channels, and then I can turn the channels up. If I'd had the light, I can do the dimmer, and I can bring the red up. Now we would have red going on that particular light, but that's not what I want to do, so we're going to just clear that fixture. But that's, that's one way that I can just basically access one light at a time, and if I wanted to just control the jelly dome, I can go there and do, do some things with that. Again, I think the jelly dome, I think I also, I think I, I set that one up. I don't remember if there was a, some of them have, have um, had the different things set up and, and some don't. It's really quite easy if you want to go and to create your own profile with a light. And I'm not going to get into some of the more advanced features of this. I just want to show you what I did, which is a quick and dirty setup, which will allow you to control some lights and get going with it. So what I would do is say if I wanted to add a light to it, say if I wanted to add a light, a new light to it right there, you would hit patch. And then I can come down here, 10 is open. Here's kind of a cool thing, it shows you. All the lights here, you can see the Jelly Dome, because I've named some of these and some of them are uh, named through the system. The Jelly Dome I named, and it will show the DMX address is one. You probably can't see that. Then the Inno Pocket uh, Z4, it's set to a 22 channel light, but that's not the important part. It starts at DMX address four. Then our next one is the uh, 5P hexes which now are going to be another 22 channels later, so it starts at address 25. That's really kind of a cool feature because it will tell you which address that light should be, you know, here we go, to Onyx should be at channel 54. The UV flood should be at channel 56, and then those are, us are using three channel, so then the Freak 5 should be at channel 59. That is so, so cool. But okay, so let's say we want to add a fixture. So I can come over here, and I can go and, uh, let's see, I want to go to 10, so I can click on 10, and let's say I wanted to put a, say I had a Cobb Cannon wash. I can click on that, and I can decide there's going to be more than one, but I'm just going to, just to patch that in. I click patch, and then I can go back.
and right there it is. You can see it added as light 10. Now what I did is you can actually, when you go into, let's go to the eye, we're gonna click the information. You've got the image button right here. And what I did is I took pictures of the lights so I would just have that visual representation and you can change that image really quite quickly by clicking the eye here and then that will load up your, your camera roll and then you can pick the light and then you can rename it, add some things. If you need to add some information on what the channels do, it's all right here and it's all really quite easy. Gotta to remember to click save. I did not click save on it because I did not wanna save it. I'm just gonna leave it there for now. So, so you have all your fixtures. I've entered all the fixtures in here. Now what I can do is I can go through and I can set a scene of what I want them to do. So I can maybe set the jelly domes to go uh, white color and do a slow rotation. I can have the, you know, whatever. I can set these scenes. And I'm gonna pop over here on the bottom there's a button called scenes. These are some of the scenes that I've already set up. So I've got a fast dance scene. What that fast dance scene does is it has many different lights doing different things, but they're going at a fast rate. Then I've got a red light scene. That means that all lights are doing red and I've got, I think I've got a couple of different, uh, I've got a fast red and I've got the regular red. The regular red has all, everything's red and it has the lights going kind of a slow uh, sweep back and forth, but in the color red. Then fast, I just increase the speed. What I did with that, let's just go to the re regular red. Now that would be going right now. Every light that would be controlled to that would be on. And now I can go back to the fixtures here and I can go, I'm gonna shut that off. We'll go to the 5P hex and we'll see in that scene, I've got the red, it's at 142 out of the, you know, the 256. The dimmer is wide open and that's what's going on with that particular light. Now let's say I wanted to save a new version of this, but instead of making it a red scene, I wanted to make it a blue scene. What I could do is change this light fixture to blue and then I could go back to the fixtures and then let's see, I think I've got the Z4s that are in this. So I could go to their settings and right here's the setting. I could maybe change, uh, let's say the color macros here, that was red. Let's go, I slide it over to blue, which I don't have the lights hooked up, but I'd slide it to blue. And then I could go back and what other lights did I have? Did I have the jelly domes in that? Let's check and see. Yes, jelly domes were also. So I could set all these lights to the color I wanted. And once I was done with that, then I can go back to my scenes and I can assign that. I could click assign up here and I could save it in this empty spot if I wanted to. And I'd, I can click on that and I can give it a name. Instead of scene 12, I'd maybe want to go uh, fast blue or, or slow blue, uh, whatever. And I can change it there. And then I want to change the button label also so they're both the same. So that way it'll show up on the previous page that we were on. And then I've done a couple of times as I've taken, uh, I've, I've taken some pictures of colors, but I've only set, I think there's only one of them that I, the red light. I had a couple of others that I had taken, but I had to delete some of it because I screwed up. So that's something I'm going to, I'll be working on. But so I've got these scenes set up and then I can really just go back and forth. So if, I'm, if I want to just chase my floods, I can click that. I'll shut that one off. I can click the, do my floods only. I can go slow with white. So it's basically kind of a slow searchlight effect with the, um, the disco ball. But I can set these scenes up. I can change scenes, save these scenes. And it really, it's, it's, the flexibility is just really incredible. It didn't take a ton of time to set this up. Now there are some more, there's some cool things where you can get in here and you can do some, you know, setting up shows with this. And there's some different effects, things you can do with this. There's cool things and you can get into that and dig into that. Like with those uh, Inno Pocket Spot Z4 that I have, you can do some incredible control with this. I haven't gotten there yet with that because really I found what I needed for, to, for, for a quick light show that would be able to do some things at the prom and it looked absolutely fabulous. So that is, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to go back here. That is the app for the ADJ Airstream DMX Bridge. This is the, let me back up. I can show you the, uh, it's the Airstream DMX right there. If you guys are looking for a way to control your DMX lights without having to know a ton of stuff about DMX programming and yet have the flexibility to really make something cool, you need to check this out. We'll put links in the description below so you can check this out. But this is the ADJ Airstream DMX Bridge from America DJ. This is John Young with the Distracting News.